Today we're going to have a look at just the, the basics of how we're going to export some 3Ds, 3D views for visualization in a way that we can import them into Photoshop to create layers in Photoshop. Yes, Photoshop has layers, a bit like Archicad, and how we can then manage those. So in previous videos we're looking at how to create a view and we created this view as a, a 3D view, which was a saved view and we also created this as a 3D document. So we'll, we'll run through those and then we'll look at different ways we can create representations of these as well. So we see that this is a, a white model. When we go to view, 3D view options, 3D styles, we can see white model with shadows, but if we go to 3D styles, it's a bit more detailed. Uh, this is, we're using the vectorial engine at the moment. This is our white model with shadows. And this is the, the effect that we're creating, the, the effect that we're getting. Now the position of these shadows, the, the representation of these shadows is also worked out by the 3D projection settings, which is determining the sun angle. So we see at the moment the sun azimuth um, is almost to the side, so it's not shining very much on our front face. So I'm just going to move this around manually. And the altitude is very, very low, 9 degrees. So I'm going to increase this to something like 30 so that we get slightly stronger, more obvious shadows. Once we create or edit settings such as the, the sun, we need to update this. So one way to update this is right click, view settings, get current window settings. So that's going to update the position of the sun and the representation. Now we can create multiple views. So I'm going to use street view and I'm going to create multiple different representations of this. So I can go back into my 3D view options, 3D styles, and we could change this to our detail shading with shadows. And, and you'll see that this changes to the OpenGL option straight away. Now the point of this is I don't want to change my position. I want to keep that same position. I want to keep the same sun position. I just want to change the representation. And now I'm going to create a new saved view in the, that same position. So in the same folder, I'll use the same intro, street view, and I might write color. Or I could write OpenGL, but color will be fine. And then we'll do this one more time. View, 3D view options. We could use some of these options straight away rather than going into the style. So in this case, I'm going to do one which is a wireframe. It's pretty messy. There's a lot of other things going on. What we might want to do is turn off some of the layers. So if I go into the options here. As people, I think there's one that's called visualization. It's going to turn off the cars just to clean it up a little bit. And we'll save this as a view as well. Now we could do this also as a 3D document. We'll talk about that in a minute. Again, right click, save current view, same naming system, street view, wireframe. Now the intention of creating all of these and creating them all as saved views using the same angle, using the same position, is that we can export these all as exactly the same file. Now, we're not rendering these, so we have a, a little bit of a limitation with the size that we can export this as. So there's a few different ways we could do this. We could put it onto a layer, so we could export it directly from here. So we could just go File, Save As. And we have a few different image types my preference of our image types would be a TIFF. Uh, when we're saving the 3D view, uh, we're talking about a raster image rather than a vector image. So JPEG or a TIFF. When we go to TIFF, we've got options. We can change the way this is representing, whether we want. Uh, I would probably go best depth. OK.
call this straight view. Color. And we'll just do this for each of these. File save as Street View wireframe. And then file save as Street View just call it white. So we've got all our different options. We're just doing these as TIFFs for now. We'll have a look at why we might do them in a different way. Uh, that's the end of this video. In the next one, we'll have a look at importing these into Photoshop. Until we've imported them into Photoshop, we're not going to really understand how they represent outside of ARCHICAD. So we'll see how they go in terms of pixels, how they go in terms of image size, and whether it's working for us and we need another way to make the quality higher.